Congratulations on deciding to continue with this course. Deciding how complex a model should be is one of the most critical skills a data scientist must have and is the subject of this lesson. Often, classifiers have extra parameters that control their flexibility or complexity. For example, inspecting the documentation of the random forest classifier, you will notice an entry for max underscore depth. This stands for maximum depth. A random forest classifier combines the predictions from a large number of decision trees. Using deeper trees makes the classifier more complex. Let's start by fitting a classifier with depth 2 and one with depth 4 to the credit scoring dataset from the previous lesson. How would a typical tree from each classifier look like? We can access individual trees using the private estimators underscore attribute. Trees of depth 2 contain at most two nested decision rules, whereas depth 4 produces much deeper rules. Although these trees come from the same classifier family and data, they look very different. Tuning a complexity parameter is treated in the same way as model selection. You need to split your data into training and test, fit several classifiers of different depths to the training data, and pick the one with the best test performance. You can also keep a separate holdout dataset in order to get a fresh final estimate of the accuracy of the winning classifier. An alternative approach is cross-validation, which splits the data into several chunks and repeats the training test step by picking a different chunk per round to use as test data, shown here in yellow, while using the remaining data for training, shown in blue. Accuracy is averaged over all rounds, making this technique more stable. Cross-validation is implemented as cross-val score in the scikit-learn model selection module. The function takes as input a classifier instance and the full data x and y, which it then proceeds to split several times, three times by default. The results are three estimates of accuracy, one for each run, that can be averaged using mean from NumPy. To easily optimize a hyperparameter like tree depth using cross validation, you can use the function grid search CV, which takes as input a dictionary of parameters and values to try out and a classifier instance. The resulting object is fitted to the entire dataset and stores the best performing values in an attribute called underscore best underscore params. Let's now review the accuracy of our random forest as the depth ranges from 1 to 10. Accuracy on the same data used for training, known as in-sample accuracy, is shown here in blue. As the trees become deeper, the classifier becomes so complex that it can now almost memorize the training data. This way, it can reach 100% in-sample accuracy. Performance using cross-validation, also known as out-of-sample accuracy, is much lower than in-sample performance and a much more realistic estimate of future performance. The most important observation is that out-of-sample performance actually drops for depths greater than 10 due to overfitting. Trying too hard to memorize the training data leads to worse performance on the test data. This also happens in real life. If you memorize the answers to past exam questions, you will only do well on the exam if the same questions appear in exactly the same wording. You're already wiser than the average data scientist because you know that complex models are not always better than simple ones. The exercises that follow let you develop more intuition about this insight.